Hello, welcome to a visual effects tutorial from Crimson Power Productions, and today we're going to create this effect. That's right, we're going to tackle teleporting today with a little help of an amazing Adobe product known as After Effects. Now, this is a basic tutorial, you don't need any third party plugins, so all you need is just stock footage, which I applied for a link down in the description below. So, let's jump right to it. Okay, first we need to make a new composition. We can achieve this by dragging our footage over the new composition button, giving us a new composition in the timeline below. Now, you want to scrub through your footage and make sure you find a clean plate. You need to make sure you definitely have a clean plate. At least give 15 seconds without changing anything in the background to achieve this. But it's very important, so make sure you definitely do it. Otherwise, you'll kick yourself a lot. Once you've found your clean plate, you want to split your image by using the shortcut Control shift d and this will create a new layer starting from where you snapped it, where you cut it, where you sliced it, where you slashed it, however you want to pull it, it's different. Now that you've done that, you need to click on your clean plate and rename it as clean plate so you know exactly what it is. Once you hit the thing, right click, go to time and freeze frame, therefore it will not move its position of where it is now. Now, to disappear, you need to find a point where you want to disappear. You can achieve this just by dragging in your images and it will shorten it down, lengthen it, whatever you want to do. But once you've found it, press T for opacity. Let's start with a disappearing effect and you can easily do this by going to the end of where you want to disappear, set the opacity to zero, move back across the timeline three frames Reset it back to 100, therefore you'll fade away over time. Appear reappearing is exactly the same process, just in reverse. Now we've got to make the image a bit more eye popping so it stands out a bit more and we can easily achieve this with a effect known as CC Radial Blur. Now we don't want to put it on the actual footage so we're going to create a new adjustment layer, go to Effects, Blur, CC Radial Blur. Change the type from scratch to fading zoom, therefore it will give a more jumpy look. Put your timeline indicator over the first keyframe you made for the opacity. Set a keyframe for the amount layer. Move ahead 3 frames and change the amount to minus 50. And then move ahead another 2 frames to change it back to zero. So now we've got this interdimensional loopy space quantum leapy look thing e. but we don't want to apply this to the whole it footage itself so we're going to use the help of masks now you can go around as much as you want with this but for now I'm just going to use my lips tool to show you how now for the shadow effect um, I have placed a link in the description saying where I got it from. I got it from these guys known as Mobulus Lull. I don't know if that's how you pronounce the name, but that's where I got it. But I'm providing a link to their channel and the footage in the description below, so make sure that you have got it. And I recommend getting it, otherwise I can't do the rest of the tutorial for you, so I'm sorry. I am very, very sorry. Now once you've got this stock footage, put it onto your timeline and line up with your CC Radial Blur layer, and there you have it. You can now teleport. You just, whatever you need to do, you just need to scale up, rotate it, and you're basically done. And that's how you teleport, like Nightcrawler. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to hit that subscribe button, and possibly the like button too, which would be very generous of you. If you want to know how to do any other effects, I will look into them. But I need to know what they are so the easiest way to do that is to either send me an email or leave me a comment below. Now below me are going to be a few videos which relate to today's topic. Here we will have the Mobulus Lulz X-Men Second Class trailer. Now it's an amazing trailer, it's, it's really good. Like all bunch of effects and these are amazing people and they've only just started um, making more videos so I recommend actually going to watch them. Here 
we have film rights tutorial on how to do teleportation in a different way. They Brian Connolly goes a bit more advanced into how to teleport in different fa ways and fashions. It's a bit more of an advanced way of how I taught you now. But if you didn't learn from me, go and see that. But I would have done a good job because I'm amazing. And right here is a pro promotional video that Insidia FX made. And this is the Nightcrawler pack they made. And it's $20 for what I showed you, the smoky effects and sounds. You get sounds of it as well, which is amazing. And if you pay an extra 5 dollars more you also get the tail rig with it which is pretty cool but I, I don't have the money for that so oh wow so anyway hope you enjoyed the videos see you soon bye